It is hailing right now, dude. Good weather, good weather for twin turbo R8. <laughs> Look at this right now. Well, we've been getting so much of this that we better get a good summer. <laughs> like, like we need we need some redemption for this. Like <laughs> Yeah, literally. Of all days to get a car like that, this place said, nah, you ain't going out in it. Well, 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 it is finally the day. We are here at German Auto House. There is my baby. It is pickup day with the brand new Sheepy Stage 1 Twin Turbo Kit on the back of the machine. Look at that, you could even see the, the upgraded cooling right in the front. And then we come around back here and there is the crown jewel or crown jewels, I should say, with our two precision turbos. Justin hasn't seen this car in like four months. <laughs> Dude, it feels weird just seeing it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this thing has got a f***ing feel. It's so bad, it's so ugly. Right? Also, yeah, that, that new, sick. new addition. That what? That's cool yeah, cool yeah, yeah. Courtesy of Stay So Performance German Auto House, they uh, plopped that thing right in there. So, Bro. dude, honestly, screw the sheeps, man. Dude, Bro, the freaking the titanium, the titanium strut race, that's going to take all the attention now. Dude. Yeah, dude. that's... That looks familiar. Well, that's not your car. That's red. Mm. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, it's my car when it was red, and also blue, and also yellow, and also cyan. <laughs> I put two and two together once I saw the blue roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, no, that is my car. Probably, actually, this is probably off my car, because it's not, it's no longer on there anymore. Can't use it anymore with the uh, twin turbo kit. Did it have the Stezo logo yeah. on it? Yeah, 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 they, they had it all badged up on there. Hey. <gasps> Oh, finger just falls How dare off. you? You touch the butt. Plug in the latest uh, Sheepy yeah, install video. Imagine. Fake fan. They're, they're not even they're subscribed. subscribed bro. <laughs> I'm fan. subscribing. I'm subscribing. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. Come on now. We're just gonna catch up real quick on the bill <laughs> while we're waiting here. <laughs> You guys got the the fender liners are these yeah. already all cut yeah oh sweet it. yeah i cut to just like looks better and you know protect maybe right, right yeah there. they literally ordered the last set of used r8 fender liners so that they plop these in here they cut them otherwise they would just like look, look like like gross mud flaps like in the back <laughs> since these were ordered used um i still have my original ones that i could put back in whenever i want to run the bumper yeah, back yeah, on yeah. and stuff Dude, we, what we need is we need like Huracan STO to where the bumper is just like a quick release mm -hmm. and then you just plop that because that would be that would be the best yeah, thing right there. Yeah, I think it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that could be a future project. Quick, Why not? quick release rear I bumper. I mean, just like uh, the bumper and maybe just modify the exhaust, like just to cut some fuel bow in the middle. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, there is that. Yeah, I opted for just accepting the regular Sheepy X pipe just because I don't have to do any bumper cut work and we're keeping it pretty conservative with this kit. But yeah, there's always room for down the line. Get some custom titanium stuff back there and who knows what. Let's fire it up. Have Dustin hear it for the first time. <laughs> Judge if it wakes me up in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, that's so much quieter. Okay, well, it's, it's warm. Oh, is it warmed up? Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, warm. Fuck. It's warm. <laughs> yeah, it's warmed up. But what that does mean. Dude, just that part right there, the, the spool wind down. That is, oh, that's the best sound. Oh, baby, I have to relearn my controls. People have no idea. This car has been gone for literally a whole season. Honestly, at least it was winter. <laughs> Even just rolling it around like a parking lot. Like you could just like hear the spool back there. <laughs> Dude, the noise is Oh nuts. my god. Oh my god. Oh. 
I don't even know what to freaking say. It is not registered in my head that this car has like a whole like 250 or 300 more wheel horsepower. That was just like feathering it, but like that felt so freaking. I just forget like, dude, they're so responsive. Like I was not expecting it to be that responsive. Yeah. Whoa. Did you just spin all four wheels? You just spun an R8. Holy crap. Dude, it's fast. Dude, I did not expect to just lose traction that quickly in this car. That wasn't even full throttle. Dude, that's such a good noise. I'm gonna be rolling around with like windows down all the time now so I can hear that. Yeah, the crackles are a little more muffled with the turbos back there. Um, or they could get real loud once I like really get on it. The car can shoot flames, but we don't have like rolling anti-lag and like full on flame mode because one, that's with the whole upgraded fuel system package that we didn't get. And two, that completely like voids any sort of like warranty or anything that they would have done. Like it's, it's not really safe for your car. People all do that for YouTube clout. <laughs> and like, you know, would I want it? Sometimes, but like for what it's worth, we're keeping this bad boy reliable. Justin's thoughts? Uh, I'm sorry, I still like the Camaro more. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Corvette man over here, he would. Dude, this is like, it's like seven, it's like tuned 720 fast. It already like broke traction a little bit, like, cause obviously tires were still cold and everything, but like, so that already scared me. But did you floor it? I haven't had a chance to like See, this really is floor it. Yeah, no, it just, it broke yeah. a little bit and I immediately was like, Whoa. This is the same happens with the third gear too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I mean, I'm starting to get used to the, the factor of braking traction because of my Camaro with all that power, but like I did not expect it with like four, all four wheels in, in a car like that. <laughs> The Seattle weather, Seattle weather is never failing us. <laughs> Was that a hail ball? Yeah. Look at all of this. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of stuff right in there. Now that we're inside. Yo, that was clean. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah. yo, dude, that slid off that the entire clean. car. Yo, 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 can you trick shot it? Like right, trick shot it. right, right through here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. dude, I'm not, I'm not ending the clip until we get it, man. <laughs> oh. This is totally legal activity. So, uh, we just got our home. Already doing my own personal adjustments, you know? Yo, we got the turn down exhaust. Yeah. Dude, could you could you imagine starting it up just bah! <laughs> Did now, now they're probably like a lot much hotter yeah. than they just were, and now I can't touch them. <laughs> That's a nice face you just made. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no. All right, and behold, haha. -ha. Let's go. Oh, yeah. It was that yeah, simple. That was so much better. What? <laughs> All right, so we're we're doing some plate mock-ups. It's this one. This, this is it. This is it, man. This yeah, I think one. I think every cop this can uh, can get that. You know, the, the police will just have to air out and get down to this level. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get low, man. You're not gonna see it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. If only it was like the the Japanese little flip things that they got. Look, my freaking skyline over here with that that little cool thing. Take off the bumper. Yeah.
trying to get rollers right now but it is just too wet the rain won't stop unfortunately without a bumper and without full-on fender liners there's been way too much water getting into the system and now i got a check engine and the engine is definitely running rougher i legitimately don't know what to do at this point it's not worth towing my car home especially with how low this is literally the best thing to do is just leave it here until it can hopefully just dry out like literally several hours later i'm praying that something catastrophic didn't just occur because the car definitely started cutting power and uh, started running a lot more rough because the water is just clogging the air filters back there. This really sucks. It sucks living in Washington. You go out when it's dry and it starts raining and there's nothing you can do. Yeah, we just literally have to leave it in this parking lot. <laughs> I mean, I would never leave a car that nice just chilling in an open parking lot like that. But right now we have no other choice. Neri is uh, getting his mic set up from it. There's literally nothing else we could do. So, I mean, hopefully by this evening it stops raining and it's dry around here. But hopefully the car might just be in limp mode. We'll see. So here's our situation. My car went into limp mode because I clogged the air filters. Yeah. The air filters are that sensitive? Well, it was a little bit wet. <laughs> that was enough to put it in limp mode? Apparently. Yeah. That's the thing, that's how we didn't know. I don't, I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's what we were saying. The tune should not send you into limp mode because you were driving in the rain. That's just yeah. like... Yeah. Oh my. Welcome back to this sitting duck out here at night. So as you guys can tell, it has not dried up at all. And that is the cons of living in the Seattle, Washington area. It just never stops raining. I just talked with Alex Soto on the phone from Sheepy Race and he said the ECUs on these things are very sensitive, especially since mine is still all stock. Once I read and clear the code, the car should be back to being good. 13 issues found. Yo. Hey, yo. Fault codes 18. Responded to ECUs 31. There's 31 ECUs in this car. <laughs> yo. <laughs> How does that work? Health status. Very bad. <laughs> Oh, cylinder one misfire detected. Cylinder six misfire detected. Cylinder 10, cylinder seven, cylinder three, cylinder eight. Okay, so like every single cylinder had a misfire. Do you think that could be like- Wait, so cool. clear engine, I guess. <laughs> and now we're good. All right, well, uh, we just cleared the whole engine. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> That's good. Mechanic. Brand new car. <laughs> engine is gone right now it sounds healthy yeah i mean it definitely the filters back there definitely got clogged yeah. because it sounds healthy again it wasn't knocking so it's not like there was too much water getting into the motor it might have not been like so much water got in but like not enough it air just, could get it in. just barely got suffocated enough that like once you trigger the ecu yeah. to like fault something it just faults up the entire car and it's very picky so then that just screwed up a whole bunch of stuff the annoying thing is like oh now let's just drive home but um <laughs> i might throw another code again it's still freaking raining We made it home in one piece. I just kept it in automatic mode and it was literally like, I don't think we hit above like 3000 or 2000 RPM that entire drive. So um, now it can actually dry off. I could even take these off and literally like hair dry them. But hopefully she's all good. Shout out to the Carly Bluetooth code reader that actually came in clutch. We did a promotion for it a couple of videos ago, but this thing actually saved our night. So on that note, we have a success. I think they literally made holes. <laughs> they literally drilled into this crash bar. Cause I mean, there's no way why this would work. <laughs> and second of all, these aren't really coming out well. You're telling me the crash bar doesn't have pre-drilled <laughs> frame holes? Yeah, man, I think I'm on to something here.